for stopping by for another one of Kelly's wordy reactions. Um, and today this is gonna be a reaction to something a little bit different than uh, what I, things I had been reacting to. Um, so this is basically some, reacting to something um, from me, just personally. And um, after I thought about it, and I came to my own conclusions about what I need to do, I thought that I would pose the question to you guys and see, um, you know, if I can strike a chord within you to um, help you get something accomplished that you need to do, then, you know, that will be all the better. So, um, recently, like within the past, I would say, six or seven months, I had to uh, change up my my diet um, completely. <laughs> and I won't go into all of that, you know, what all that entails, but it was for health reasons. It was for the best. And so, um, you know, so I had to, I had to switch it up. I didn't have to, but I chose to, um, and this was basically, um, you know, my own, from my own research, my own decision, because I knew that, you know, it, it would at least help. I decided that that's, that would be the best thing for me to do. So I did it. Now, or recently, <laughs> like within, and let me go back a little bit. And after I did that, you know, I was able to um, see some really good results, um, not only just in weight, you know, because of course, if you do something really restrictive with your diet, you know, you're gonna, um, you know, shed a few pounds, but, you know, just in my overall, you know, health, you know, I've seen a lot of benefits. So, you know, I'm going along, I'm, I'm doing good. And, um, and then I have, you know, a situation and the conclusion that I've drawn from that situation is that I need to buckle down even even harder you know like i need to double down even more so you know so and i've decided i'm i'm willing to do that you know i'm willing to do that for myself um i'm willing to do it for me for my own um health for my you know self-improvement um you know for for myself i don't know if we don't necessarily always think about your own personal um, improvement. What what would help you? Not just what you want to do, not just what you gotta do, but what will you know? What will cause you to be the best, like you? that you can be what's best for your self-improvement in all areas like there's a lot of, of areas to to people there's a lot of boxes we got to check you know you got your finances um you got your health you got your physical body um you know you got your education like you just have so many boxes to check um you know your job your career your car, your house. I mean, it's, it's just so many things. And sometimes, especially with ladies, like our own personal self can get kicked to the back of the line somehow. And it doesn't really make sense because if you're not okay, then none of that stuff that, that you have or that you need to take care of, none of that really matters if you're not okay. So, I'm not sure, you know, how that psychologically, why we tend to do that. Maybe men do too, you know. Um, but anyway, I've decided, you know, okay, you know, I'm gonna have to double down even harder because 
I was following my program and then, you know, the more I went along and the more um, good I was doing, I think I started to feel like, oh, you know, you could have just a little bit of this, just a tiny bit of that. You know, I'm not even talking about cake. <laughs> I'm not talking about ice cream. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about things like um, pistachios or, or cashews or avocado you know like I'm, I'm talking about a very you know very very restrictive uh way of eating so to me a treat was like some avocado and some um some cashews and more almonds than you know i, I would like allow myself to have so um so now i gotta roll back you know i gotta I got to cut back even more because those things aren't, they're just, they're, those things are not um, helping, I would say. You know, I, I don't feel anyway. Um, so, but like I said, I'm willing to do it. Um, I'm willing to do it for me. I'm willing to do whatever, whatever, ever I have to do for me, for my own self, for my health, for my uh, body, for my um, anything that's going to improve me. You know, I'm I'm willing to do that. So my question to you tonight would be, what do you need to do? And then, are you willing to do it? So what do you need to do? Like, everybody knows what they need to do. Uh, most of the time, you're either doing what you need to do or you're trying really hard to, like, um, push it back. <laughs> Push that back. Don't acknowledge that. You know, you got this to do. You're doing this. You're doing that. Don't think about that, you know, because you know, like, you need to do something and um, you're not willing to do it right now. But you know, you know, everybody knows, I think, I think what you need to do. So what do you need to do? And are you willing? Are you willing to do it? Are you willing to do it for you? Um, are you willing to do it for you? And only you can answer that question, you know? Only you can answer that question. Only you can force yourself to ask yourself that question. And, um, and you're the only one that can really um, answer it and you're the only one that can really um, make it happen as a woman you know I, I don't know I mean the man you're you're welcome to look on you're welcome to even think these questions through for yourself but um, more so for the women because I'm a woman like sometimes we embrace fitness and you know, weight loss and everything, um, keeping good health. Sometimes we embrace it. It depends on who you are and, you know, where you are in your life. And um, sometimes we run from it and we refuse to acknowledge it. If you need to lose weight, then I would encourage you, take that seriously. You know, take that really seriously because it's affecting you in a lot of different ways that, you know, you may or may not be acknowledging, but it, it is affecting you. Um, it's um, possibly, if you do need to lose weight, it's possibly affecting your relationships. Um, it's definitely i'm gonna go so far as to say it's definitely affecting your 
your health in ways that you don't always, in ways that you don't always, are not always able to see. Um, but it's it's having it's having an effect on your body that's not the best if you're overweight or obese or super obese, you know, for that matter. So, you know, do you do you need to lose weight? Are you willing? You know, are you willing? Are you are you willing to put in like ten thousand steps a day? I've been wearing this watch. <laughs> I've been wearing this watch that one of my sons gave me. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see that. I can't turn my arm like that. But I need to put in 10,000 steps a day. Like, I need to clock these 10,000 steps. And um, I probably won't. I probably won't get anywhere near it today. But um, right now I'm at 16, 1600. So yeah, I'm at 1600 right now. And I need to get in basically what's that 8500 steps you know because they say you can you can really um lose your weight lose your extra body fat if you know over a period of time if you put in 10,000 steps a day so i really need to clock these 10,000 steps every day i need to get these 10,000 steps in for cardio and then um i've decided to join a, uh, I wish I could think of her name because I would tell you I'm really impressed by um, what I've seen from this lady's um, Instagram. But she's a fitness trainer, and I feel like if I join her her training, even though it's going to be virtual, like I'll have a, a trainer um, because it's Zoom, and you know she'll be able to see me and whoever else is in her class or, you know, whatever, but at least like she can see where you are and, you know, you can see her and you can interact and um, it just seems really cool. So I'm going to join her um, virtual training and um, I'm really excited about that because I've never had my own personal trainer before. And I don't know, you know how sometimes you look at somebody and you just get that feeling that, you know, y'all are going to do great things together. So I really feel like I'm going to be able to get my, get my, um, build my body. Um, not only just, you not only just maintain a certain weight, but like really build, you know, build these glutes, build these, you know, legs, uh, build these arms out, you know get these abs you know popping in here so I'm really excited about that um, but in the meantime you know I can do what I I can do what I can do I have a treadmill in there and a bike and a couple of little hand weights and um, a jump rope <laughs> you know I can I can do what I can do and, and I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it for me. Um, you know, I, I, I just don't want to live your life coming through for everybody and everything and you won't even come through for yourself. You know, what, 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 what are we doing? And um, so yeah, do you need to lose weight? Are you willing to do it? Are you willing to hit those 10,000 steps um, every day? Get you a, a Fitbit or whatever this kind of watch this is, you know, um, track your steps, walk outside or jog, ride a bike, get a jump rope. What, about $5, get you a jump rope, 
jump rope to about seven, six or seven songs. I get you a playlist. You can jump rope to like six or seven songs. And you just jump rope until you mess up and then you take a couple breaths and then you start back. You let six or seven songs play. And by the time you get through all your playlist, you've had a great workout. Now you can't just stop, you know, like you could stop, you, you know, breathe, rest a few seconds, and then you hit it, you know, you just keep doing it. I did that on Sunday. Um, so, and then I rode my bike and then let's see, it's Tuesday. So yeah, I'm, st I'm good. If I, if I don't do anything tonight and I just kind of hop back in there Wednesday, I'll be all right. Um, I can still get the best out of the week. So to me, getting the best out, winning the week to me means I did my goals like four days. And if I did, worked on my goals four days and the seven days in a week, I, I got the best out of the week. So it's a little trick somebody told me about one time. And I was like, yeah, I like that. I like that. So you can mess up a couple days, but as long as you, as long as you win out of the week, so, um, so what else, what else, what are some other things that you think you need to do and you know you need to do and you kind of like hide from going ahead and, and getting them done. But today I just want you to ask yourself, like, what do I need to do and am I willing to do it? for me, for my own personal self, you know, for my own self-improvement. Um, and, and, and you know, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. Only you know what that is. Only you know what that is. But I would just encourage you, you know, do it for yourself because you're the only you that, that you have. And, you know, people spend a lot of time getting their job done, you know, getting their children taken care of, uh, getting their man taken care of, their husband, their wife, you know, their car maintenanced, walking your dog, you know, making sure your pets and stuff have all the vital things that they need to live a healthy life. What about you? What about you? What about us? What about us? Are we gonna take care of ourselves? And what I notice about this too, is that the people that it seems take the least amount of care of themselves are tend to be the angriest people. And, you know, rightfully so, because you're pissed, you know, because you need, um, you need things for yourself, for your own, I got this phone propped up on a pillow. You need things for yourself so you can be okay, so you can be happy, so you can be like, you know, feeling good mentally and emotionally. Like you need, you need to be happy. And so in, in order for you to be happy, like you need to do things that you like and you need to do things that are um, self-care you know, things that take care of you. You need to do that so that you can, so that you can feel good about your life, you know? And when we don't do that, when we run around and we kind of let life dictate what needs to be done, you know, this needs to be done, that needs to be done. This person needs you over here. That person needs you over there. You know, um, you know, you you agreed to do this, or you know, we're counting on you for that. What about you? What about you counting on you 
for you. You know, men like to go and whatever men like to do, play golf, drink with their friends, play video games, some of them. Um, you know, they have their hobbies, fishing, golfing, boating. <laughs> All these things, all these things that feed them, you know, that feed them and that make them feel like they are having a happy life. Um, where's your happy life? What makes you happy, like genuinely happy? You know, are you doing the things for yourself that make you feel good about yourself? Before anybody sees you, before anybody... Um, compliments you or before you present yourself to anybody anywhere what have you done to present yourself to you to say you know I, I, I really wanted to read that book and I read it and it was so such a good book it was so interesting and that makes me happy I, I read a book I read a book that I wanted to read you know um, I like to swim. I actually love to swim. And, you know, right now, of course, with the pandemic, it's not like the ideal time to swim. Plus, it's the winter time. Um, but I love to swim. And as soon as, as soon as I'm, you know, it's, it's better times and it's kind of the time for it. I'm gonna swim. I'm gonna go swimming as much as I can. Lane swimming, open swimming, outdoor swimming. And it doesn't matter to me because I just, you know, I think if I wasn't a person, I'd be a fish. I just love, love, love to swim. Um, why am I not swimming more? You know, just not now, but on, on in regular times, I wasn't just going and and swimming every day. You know, because it what? It's a little inconvenient. It's not, um, I can't just walk outside. I don't have a pool, so I can't just walk outside like I can walk outside and go walking. I can't just walk outside and go to the pool. But people do things it, that make them happy, that make them feel fulfilled and like they're living their best life, like they're living life, like they're feeding themselves you know how the bible said man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god well also i believe that you know you live by the things that these these things that we're we're gifted with and that we like that we enjoy there there's things that people Everybody has things that they enjoy. And, you know, notice how they're different. I don't enjoy um, cigar smoking, you know. Somebody enjoys cigar smoking. I don't enjoy that. Well, that's for them to do, maybe. I don't, I don't know if it's for them to smoke cigars or not. But if, if they enjoy it and, and that makes them really, really happy and fulfilled, you know, hey, who am I to say? that that's not what they need to be doing, but I need to be doing at least some of the time, at least on some sort of regular basis. I believe we need to be feeding ourselves what we know that we need to do and what we know that we enjoy so that we can have good emotional feelings and so that we can have a good mentality to go ahead and um, to go ahead and attack the rest of whatever life has for us to do but but when you've done everything that you need to do but you haven't that you know all the pressing things and you haven't done things that uh, other things that you need to do for yourself and that feed you, that make you happy, that make you feel like, 
I'm living now, you know, because, you know, I jumped in the pool today and I swam until I couldn't swim anymore until I was tired and exhausted, you know. Um, that's when you feel like you're living and that's, and when you're taking care of yourself, um, you know, and, and you can look at yourself in the mirror and like the way that you present yourself to you, you know, think of how much higher your, how much better your self-talk is going to be when you pass by that mirror and your tummy is flat and you've got your, you've got your muscle tone together and your posture is good because, you know, you've been exercising and you've been developing these muscles and, you know, everything is pulling you up and pulling your shoulders back and, you know, pushing your rear out and, you know, <laughs> everything. Think of your, your self-talk and, and how much better you feel when you know that you've done what you need to do for you. So, I think that's it. Um, I have another topic coming up. I have to figure out how I want to um, how I want to present that. Um, but I think that's going to be a really, really good one. You have been watching another episode of Kelly's Wordy Reactions comment and let me know what you need to do and are you going to do it that's the most important thing what do you need to do and are you going to do it and I'm gonna let you guys hold me accountable and check in with me and ask me hey are you doing what you need to do are you staying away from those um, cashews and avocados <laughs> Are you eating all that plain, simple food only? You know what you got to do. Okay, so thank you so much, and I will see you later.